From burgers to tacos to smoothies, this vegan hotspot has been taken San Diego by storm. Our next guest has a passion for making tasty food using nothing but plant-based products. Meet Zachary Voga. Um, obviously, there's just the whole kind of pipe dream conversations, you know, and it's like, uh, and that's that, that's the fun part, but you never really know when it's going to become reality. Um, so yeah, it's the, the planning for our first restaurant uh, took about a year, year and a half, and we finally found location is always the hardest part, finding that perfect location. Um, and when we found it in Ocean Beach, uh, right on that corner. Um, on Sunset Cliffs in Voltaire, we that's when the dream started really rolling. It was like a rock, it was literally a rolling rock. Yeah, the, the whole the whole build out took about a year and a half, I'd say. From picking the location to construction, it was just a shell and, and making it what it is now. We opened up officially about a year ago actually, so we're one year in the mix now. Zach Voga, and I'm the co-founder and uh, VP of operations for Plant Power Fast Food. Um, I'm from Indiana, uh, northwest Indiana, right outside of Gary, um, about 45 minutes uh, away from Chicago. Um, so right at the Illinois border, Illinois-Indiana border. Um, the town's Valparaiso, and it's gone through a lot of changes in the last 15, 20 years, but uh, it's a great place to grow up. Very, very small towny feel but still uh, it has some urban settings that were nice to kind of, and uh, we had a little uh, squad that we hung out with and we got together and built ramps, uh, rode bicycles on them. And we just kind of ran through the town. Family life, very typical Midwestern, grew up with uh, both parents. Uh, they stayed together up until I was nine or 10 and then split. They both got remarried um, and had more children with their new partners. So I have a very big family. You're raised knowing that whatever way you're being raised is the truth and the way, the only way it's been, the only way it's supposed to be. So as a kid, I, I grew up eating McDonald's. Um, I loved chicken nuggets. Um, I didn't really even know what they were, but I knew I loved them. Um, but yeah, just American fast food, you know? Um, so that's where the kind of the love of it started, but I, I didn't really latch on to the idea or understand the idea of veganism or vegetarianism until I was um, 13 or 14. Um, like I said, my parents, they got remarried, and my dad uh, married this really wonderful woman who uh, was a vegan. And that was the very first time I ever heard that word. I didn't know what it was, I didn't know what it was about. Um, and so she started, when they moved in together and they were their relationship was blossoming, she started bringing in these vegan products, you know, things like non-dairy milks or uh, non-dairy ice creams or tofu or um, chicken nuggets. And that was my first experience with those things and it just started turning some cogs in my head. I'm like, well, if this is a chicken nugget, then what was that? You know, or what is this? This tastes just like this, what was that? And uh, by the time I was 14 or 15, my, my older brother had sent me some PETA videos, um, and from there, I, I just saw the industry. I just saw some of the truths behind some of the fast foods, some of, the, um, some of my childhood favorite food items, and I, there was no going back from there. My eyes were opened, and, and it was just this, global epiphany for me in my head, this massive thing, a paradigm shift if you will. Um, that, that's kind of the genesis for my veganism. And so even though I was vegan, vegetarian throughout high school and I, I, did, want, I did have a certain element of activism in me and I, I, wanted, I knew that would be a part of my life, I still was focused on doing the uh, scholastic route, you know, um, going into co doing college, uh, going into law school afterwards. It really wasn't until my third year in college, I was doing political science at DePaul University, that I was like, I don't necessarily know if this is what I want to do. And I'm looking around at some of the attorneys in my family, and they are happy in many aspects of their life, but also they kind of hate their job. So I, that is when I really started turning again. And I'm like looking at my life about looking for something that I would really want to do that was fulfilling something that I could latch on to that, that lent itself to a greater part of me or a greater, greater part of my identity. Um, and for 
uh, a couple different reasons, I ended up in San Diego and I started working at a restaurant um, called Evolution. Um, and I was there um, for about five years as their general manager, four or five years. Um, and that is when that reality started becoming, um, coming to fruition for me. Um, that's when I saw it, I could really do this. I, I could really make this something. I was at Evolution for just about five years, I want to say, um, and it kind of about at the end of the year three, it started talking, talk started happening about um, expansion with the owner, and the owner and I started, Mitch, who's my partner now in Plant Power, we were like, how can we take this to a level where we can replicate it maybe 100 times or maybe 500 times or 10,000 times, and that is kind of uh, what spawned Plant Power. Um, the, the goal if I can strip it down to the most bare bones kind of traits, um, the goal of Plant Power Fast Food is to show anybody, to show you, uh, a hardcore meat eater, a vegan, anybody, any walk of life, that at this point, um, literally anything can be made vegan. Um, whether that's burgers or uh, chicken tenders or uh, bacon, you can replicate these things to a certain degree and it's, it's improving each year. So you always hear people saying, you know, I, I wish I could go vegan. I, I would totally go vegan if, if, uh, if I didn't love pizza so much or if I didn't love cheese so much. The goal of Plant Power is to just, um, it's to be a stepping stone. So if you were to go vegan today, um, you can go to Plant Power the next day and get a buffalo chicken sandwich and there wouldn't be that void in your life anymore. It's that stepping stone. It's that, it's just, it's the intermittence, you know, um, it's not, we're not some crazy healthy vegan restaurant, you know, we're not serving up tofu and vegetables, um, but, but we, we, you know, our food is still um, extremely healthy. Uh, we have different items on the spectrum of healthy versus less healthy, um, but even when you compare uh, our bacon cheeseburger, which may not be the healthiest thing in our menu, you compare that to a traditional bacon cheeseburger and it's, you know, it's black and white. Um, some of the favorite things on, that we have on our menu that I personally love, um, our, our buffalo chicken sandwich. That thing is just, I, I eat it every day almost. I mean, it's, it's just so good. Um, I really like our chicken Caesar wrap. And we just released this new uh, burger, which is actually, I, it's named after me. It's called the Big Zack, and it's a Big Mac replica. Uh, and that's really a thing of beauty. Um, we've had people say, come in the past few days, it just launched a couple days ago. We've had people come in and, and say that there's no difference. You know, it's just like a, it's a gourmet version. They, they, they don't even know it's meatless, you know. I've seen minds change and I've seen people start to think just by giving them a burger, a vegan burger, or just by giving them vegan chicken tenders. That, and just like how that affected me when my stepmom started bringing those products around, that is just so powerful. So I, I wanna see plant power all over because I know the power of change it has. I know the, the influence it can have on people. Just showing people that, hey, there, there are other options. You can have the same exact flavor, but maybe this animal didn't have to die for it. Or maybe um, the, this outrageous amount of water didn't have to be squandered to raise this. So um, my, my, my plan is to keep on going and putting all of my energy into this, this restaurant, this concept because of the, the influence it can have, because of the power it has. People think I'm crazy when I say this, but the future of plant power for me looks like 10,000 units all over. Um, and that's really the number, and I know that number is just so far out, but that crazy goal to me is, it's achievable. Maybe not in my lifetime, but whoever runs, you know, the machine after I'm gone or whatever. Uh, but 10,000 units. Um, short term goal, we are poised and ready to launch a regional chain. Like I said, we're opening up Encinitas. That's the very first goal. Um, after Encinitas is launched and uh, running, and it's to the same caliber that Ocean Beach location is, that's when we want to move towards a regional chain. Maybe reach out to um, some outside funding to help us open up four, five, six more in the Southern California region, climb our way up the coast, and, uh, and just really start spreading. Hey, I'm Zach Voga and I'm the co-founder, co-owner of Plant Power Fast Food. You're watching The Block San Diego.
You can find out more about Plant Power Fast Food at 2204 Sunset Cliffs Boulevard in Ocean Beach, San Diego.